the uh, super talent, a legitimate rock star. We got Kurt Vile. Kurt, are you there? Warm it up, Tom. Kurt, KV. What's up? How you doing, buddy? I'm good. I like that. You know who we are, Tom? What's that, KV? We're two two big kids with a flow you ain't never heard. <laughs> <laughs> it's already, already, I'm confused and... and oh, man, it's just crisscross. Warm it up, no. Tom. I'm yeah. about to. Yeah. What if you did that on stage? What if you started doing warm it up? Work it into the set. Man, I still I vividly remember that. I'm still affected by that song. I I quote it all the time. It's a good one. You did earlier, in, yeah. in case you don't remember. I do. Look, I don't actually. I don't. I this is <laughs> yeah, this is like bad. Warm it up, Chris. We're in trouble, Chris. We're in trouble, to. Kurt. I am already falling apart and I have twenty three hours and 22 minutes to go and i'm already my brain is starting to slip no you're just warming it up tom thank you thank you now kurt i want to just say you put an album out this year i look at this record watch my moves as it's kind of the culmination of everything you've done kv this record you got a little bit of the 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 home fi sound that you've had in the past you got the full sound going on the record it's everything everything's in here and the songs thank you holy guacamole kv did you deliver on this one and you took this record on tour and i got to see you at where did i see you the ace theater yeah yeah that was a that was a killer show and one oh man, I was playing for you. I was really, uh, I knew you were out there, so I had to, I knew the show was going to be good, but you saw like a crazy good one. And then you were giving me some feedback that was getting me real high. You were like, yeah, you're shredding guitar on, on waking on a pretty day, acoustic guitar shredding. You were blowing their minds and you were setting it in this way that... <laughs> I knew you were right. Oh, no, it was legit. You were going for it. I love when I could see when KV's going for it. And you... Yeah, because... Yeah. And what it's about true, that? Because it's, it's hard. You get, sorry, go ahead. No, no, you go. You go. No, it's... Yeah, because... You know, sometimes... You're always trying to go for it. Mm -hmm. But then, you know... Sometimes you catch it and then you really are going for it. And it's just like you, you can feel the crowd losing it. And I think, I feel like, I mean, it was good all the way to the West coast, but mm -hmm. that was, I feel like that's the, the first Epic show that you caught. So I was glad that you were there, you uh, know, because so my song bass Ackwards, you know, you're, mm -hmm. you're in there. I was on the radio talking with, Tom Sharpling, you know, that lyric uh -huh. in Bass Ackward. Yeah, I don't know if that's exactly the lyric. <laughs> and then, then you were in the audience. Yeah. Now that was, uh, what if what if when you play that song, if you just, you're like, I was talking on the radio, talking to a friend of mine, and like I stand up and I like, you know, because that's actually what happened. When you played with Courtney Barnett at, in Jersey City, this is one of the most mortifying moments yeah. of my life. I'm sitting in this <laughs> theater and you were you were nice enough. You slipped me into lyrics in the song "Blue Cheese," which uh, I think we might be able to get to it in the next twenty three and a half hours. Maybe we'll see if we can fit that one into the set. Um, maybe, but yeah, maybe we, we'll we'll hear that. We'll maybe we'll hear it six times. Um, we got a lot of show to fill, so I'm sitting watching that, and then AP Mike and your brother Jello Man. They start, they start doing whatever maneuvers they're doing, going up and down the aisle, trying to fit, slide in. Excuse me, pardon me. And I like had to stand up to let them by, <laughs> and it looked like I was standing up to like be acknowledged by the crowd. 
Like as if I yeah. thought just like, hey, everybody, that's right. It's me. I'm here. Thanks. Yeah, no, no, please. They're the stars of the show tonight on the stage. Don't cheer for me. Cheer for them on the stage. That's the real show. <laughs> like as if that's what I was yeah. thinking. Oh, my God. And I was yeah. just like, it was just, yeah, I don't know what. And look, did they mean it? Did it was Jello Man and AP Mike teaming up to make me look uh, dumb? I don't think so. I don't think so. Absolutely. Oh, you think yes, they were <laughs> okay. Well, fair enough. Yeah. When Jello Man is involved, yeah, there's always a scheme. Yeah, yeah. You they... know what's funny? Have you watched? Have you watched the Jay Z documentary at all? The on Netflix? No. I have not. You know the three part documentary? I'm sorry, not Jay Z. Con- sorry, Kanye. The Kanye sorry. one. I have not, no. Sorry. Oh my God. Like when he's younger or mm-hmm. like when people aren't taking him seriously and he's like, he's got this look on his face, mm-hmm. like this hunger in his eyes. He looks and reminds me exactly of Paul Jello Man. All of a sudden I like started <laughs> connecting <laughs> with Kanye when he was. <laughs> People weren't taking him seriously. He's got uh-huh. this look in his eyes. I swear to God, it looks exactly like Jello Man. Like mm-hmm. when Jello Man is hungry, it's uh-huh. the same thing. So you're saying that Jello Man is the Kanye West of festival of of illegal uh, Jello shots at festivals. I'm saying, yeah. I will say. I mean, even though he gets on my nerves sometimes, I will give him 100 percent props that he is. At least the Kanye of of uh, Jello Man. <laughs> He's the Kanye of. Well, that's you. You did it. You did it, Paul. You made it. You're the Kanye of Jello Men. Um, now he's look. I love him. He's a, he's a, he's. I love when suddenly you see him walking in. And he's like, "What's up?" Hey. <laughs> and I, I like when he'll just be like, "I'll get a text." Every once in a while, he'll be like, hey, do you know Ian Mackay? We're like, what? <laughs> no. Ian Mackay. <laughs> We're like, I want to make a jello, um, a jello mural of his name. It's like, well, first of all, he's straight edge. I don't know if that's the greatest idea. Hey, Ian, I made some jello shots. I made a jello mural yeah, I, for you. What, hearing the Ian Mackay's name out of Paul's mouth is just, it doesn't even make sense. There's no way in hell he, he knows who he is. I made, I think I made, I think I, I, okay. I put a okay, name okay. in there. It's like, hey man, hey, yeah. You know Brian Baker? Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, there are random, yeah, he's like, are you going to, uh, you're going to the Animal Collective show tonight? Like, as if, who I love, but I. I used to see them a ton mm-hmm. when I was younger, but he, mm-hmm. I know what he's getting at. He's not like, are you going to go to enjoy a concert? Like, yeah. You know, he's trying to get his animal collective sign. Yeah. Over, you know, well, he wants to the to animal see. collective. Yeah. Hey, I made a jello shot. It says animal collective. And they're like, you going? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you go. yeah. I mean, well, he's saying just like, Hey, don't leave me hanging here. Uh, don't leave me hanging here. I kind of want this. I kind of made a whole thing for them. And it, it's kind of wasted if I uh, if it's stuck in my garage. Just a just an unused animal collective Jello shot sign. <laughs> <laughs> now he's awesome, but Kurt. Now he is awesome. You toured, you toured uh, the U.S. You did your U.S. tour. Yeah. What's What's next? You're You're going back out in the fall, right? Oh yeah, I'm going sooner than that. I had some one-offs since then, yeah, but a little Canada, but I did one long US tour and a few one-offs and then in late August and then into September I'll be in in Europe for a month and then I do a couple three more weeks or so of the states after that. Yeah, you know. It feels good it feels good to be playing to people again. And it's also nice to be home again. I I'm already confused again, but uh, I, if I'm a born performer, so I really got that off of my chest. I, f- I feel a lot more normal. Well, you know? sure, because you had two years of being of 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 being on ice, which and, I also loved. Yeah, I mean, I, I know, and that, that, but that shows uh, that shows in the record. I really do think the you're you getting you getting kind of like uh, uh, benched like everybody else did 
during during pandemic, you put it into your record, and I think it shows. And you really uh, you made the most of it. Um, so that was a great. It was it worked out. It worked out in your favor ultimately. Um, now you were talking, what, what's, you were talking at one point about doing some like different, different, uh, like different kinds of releases and things like that. Are you still giving thought to that? Like kind of doing some, doing some unique, uh, things. I, yeah, I mean, I, I was thinking about that and I, I still am, but it, I don't know. Right now I'm taking it slow. Like all those ideas are cool, but, and there's plenty of, uh, material, you know, I, more so, yeah, putting it into the home studio. Like I'm thinking about the next time I'm going to start working again and mm-hmm. going through all the stuff that I have. And, you know, uh, there's plenty of stuff in the vault, you know, we'll be putting stuff out, but <laughs> yeah. it's not like I got something lined up and, and packaged. Well, yet, yeah. Yeah. But so it's... Plenty, you know, it's, it's kind of, I don't know. I'm down here talking to you in my basement that I've been working on for years and mm-hmm. it's finally, uh, you know, it's finally my zone. So yeah, it's just going to, I'm going to keep cranking them out, whether that's slow or fast. I don't care because it's cause I'm in it, you know, it's yeah. fine. It's finally a hundred percent, you know, yeah, just like I, you over there, man, your space. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My friend. Well, yeah, no, you, it just, you, when it's ready, it's ready. And, it's also like people just got this killer album from you. They can, they, they people want it to just be, they want you to do things right. And that is kind of what you do. You don't just, you just don't over, you don't put out every little scrap when it comes out. And people who do that, I love that also, but it just doesn't seem to be your, your style. You do things at your own pace. And when it makes sense to you is when it comes out. And that's kind of the, I guess that's the, that's the way to do it. Um, because you know, you're not going to suddenly be somebody you're not start putting things out that are like undercooked or whatever. And you put it all in the box set. Yeah. When, I, when that KV box set comes out. Oh man. That's going to be road, intense. That is going to be something it's gonna else. be cool. I mean, I think I'm working towards that, you know, I'm, I'm working towards, it's just amazing how much has to go into it. If you really want your office slash studio slash archives, like life, like, I think I'm always like working towards that pretty soon. I'll have, you know, like Neil Young and his archive, <laughs> you know, I'll be able to start cranking things out like that. But it's yeah. just funny. The whole like vinyl takes forever anyway. And that whole mentality, I'm not, I'm not, a hun- I'm not a fully digital person, but mm-hmm. you know what I mean? It's kind of, it's, it's kind of like you got to bridge, you got to bridge over to digital worlds. And yeah. I'm still somewhere in between. So yeah. You're caught uh, in but I'm excited. I'm inspired by so much, man. I, I'm inspired by so much music and writing tons of music and thinking about mm-hmm. or making music. But yeah, no, it's a, you're really yeah, you're really locked well. in now. And the other cool thing that's been going on on the shows is that uh, the Silver Jews song you you were doing. You're doing punks oh, in the yeah. beer light. Um, what is that one? That is where's the paper bag that holds the liquor just in case I feel the need to puke. Yeah, <laughs> but that just was such. A, I didn't know you were doing that, so I was just that was a, a just a really uh, thrilling moment. Which I was like, "Oh my god, you're doing a you're doing a Silver Jew song, and you're doing it so like early in the set. You weren't doing it as a as a cover as like a encore. It was like a it, it was a part of the flow of the whole thing, and that was really uh, I loved it. So I loved it, you know. Oh, thanks. Yeah, we've done that every day since we got the band back together in the same spot, really, you know, like, and, you know, it, it's a, it's a release and all, you know, obviously a tribute. Yeah, I, can, I think, you know, that sums up these past few years. And it's funny because it, you know, that happened before any pandemic or something, but it, it kind of, everybody like reflects back to David, you know, like in the Silver Jews and how we grew up on that and we always knew what it was. It was special, but then when you lose somebody like that and you're like, it's like, you really, I, I, I was reconnecting. I, I never lost connection to it, but I was really getting back in. Like, I was like, I was right. This is really, it, it just holds up so hard and it means so much. And then, 
you know, he puts out that record. I get to know him just a tiny bit, and then he's mm-hmm. gone. Like, it's very real. I feel like it's it's a, it, somehow it 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 sums up even the pandemic times and weird ways. Things about you know what I mean. I don't know. Absolutely, no, it, no. It, no, it really is a true. That look, he 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 made art that that will outlast and outlive all of us. He's 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 one of the all timers, and um. It just I, I just love you you uh kind of interpreting his his music is really something special. So I thought that was very cool. Um now Kurt, do you have anything else you wanna do here? Yeah, I got you want me to play you a song still? Oh yeah. That's what I was talking about. A song. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's do it. Yeah, I got this song. I haven't played this one live yet. It's it's on the new record. Uh, I mean, you talked about some of the lyrics a little bit. So I'm on the landline here. Well, you know, it'll be kind of lo-fi. But here, I'm going to play it for you. Here okay. we Thank you. 
know how that sounded through oh, there, but that's it. That's Kurt, all you get. Kurt, that was amazing. That I'm blown away. That's Stuff Leopard from the new album, Watch My Moves. And that was just amazing. That's my that's one of my favorite songs on the record. And yeah, thank you so much, buddy. This it's just what a what an amazing way to kick this whole thing off with you. Yeah, and, well, thank you. Yeah, I, that was for you special, actually. Yep, I haven't played that anywhere at all yet. So thank you, uh, Tom. I love you, yeah, uh, and I love everybody. I love the best show. Um, you know, and I'm. I, you're insane and amazing for uh, doing this 24 hour thing. You know, you know. Well, Kurt, I love you too, and I will see you really soon. And thanks for being a part of this. And uh, I can't wait. Uh, I can't wait till I get to see you in person again. Yeah, I'll see you over there. I'll be over. I'll Sounds come in person. Okay, All right, bro. Thanks, good. Okay, buddy. Take care. Late. All right, bye.